Hey guys, uh, I want to show you a stretch today that you can do at home for your psoas muscle. So real quick, our psoas muscle runs from the top of our thigh bone and it runs through the core and it connects to the front surface of the spinal column right in the lumbar area. So when this thing gets tight it can cause uh, movement problems, it can cause a little back pain, it can interfere with our breathing, it can even impact our mood. So we want to make sure that we're keeping this thing healthy and we want to make sure that we're not letting it get tight, which is particularly important if you have a desk job or you sit a lot during the course of the day. So all you're going to need for this stretch is a couch. And that's why I'm demonstrating this at home for you here today. Before we get into this, I want to let you know that when you're stretching, I want this to be gentle. So there shouldn't be any time during the stretch where you're holding your breath, where you're squeezing your eyebrows, your forehead's getting all wrinkly, or anything like that. If that's happening, it's a sign that you're too deep into a stretch and that you should switch to one of the uh, earlier stretching variations that I'm going to show you in this video here. So while we want to feel a gentle stretch and a little discomfort is normal while we're stretching, it should never be painful and we should never feel like we're fighting back against it. If we do that, it's going to be counterproductive. It can actually impede our progress. So less is more and let's get started. To begin with, you're going to situate yourself on the edge of a couch or bed so that your hip is right at the edge. You're going to lay back, pulling one knee into the chest as you go. What that's going to do is it's going to anchor the hips a little bit so that the low back doesn't bend and push up, which is common when you have a tight hip flexor. So the side that we're stretching, you can bend the knee or straighten it out depending on the level that you're currently at. So you can kind of modify this uh, to suit your own current level. What we want to get is that knee behind the plane of the hip. And you can use the floor to support the stretching leg and get just the right amount of stretch there. So that's our first variation. This one's very gentle. You can do this every, every day before you even wake up in the morning and get out of bed. This is a good one to do. Moving on, we're going to use the side of the couch here. So what we're going to do is we're going to anchor that knee right on the, on the couch and one leg is going to support us. We're going to stack our hips, shoulders and ears vertical with a nice tall spine. From there, push that knee forward that's supporting you, but not so far that it goes in front of the toes. And what you're basically doing is, is you're pulling the back leg, you're pulling that knee behind the hips. Avoid arching back into it. Again, good tall posture, neutral, neutral spine, neutral hips, and just drop forward. Breathe, and then do the other side. To advance the stretch, we're going to use the arm of the chair, or you can use a cushion. But what we're trying to do is deepen the stretch by increasing the angle of flexion at the knee there. All the other alignment points are the same, only difference is that this ankle is a little higher now. So a little bit more bend in the knee. Drop the hips, keep the spine tall, and breathe. Moving on from there, what we want to do is use the back of the couch to further increase the amount of flexion that we're getting at the knee. So what we do is we wedge that knee right into the seat of the couch and where the back comes in and resume the same alignment we've been working towards. You should start feeling a really, really deep stretch at this point. So one point that we want to watch out for is that the back leg should be perpendicular to the floor from the knee to the heel. What we want to avoid is letting it kick out to the side or inward. So it should be perfectly straight. And again, we're in that alignment. Breathe. Now, moving on from there, the next step up is to just bring this planted leg up 
onto the couch. So we're in a much tighter position here. We have our knee, hip, shoulders, and ears all vertically stacked on top of each other, pushing those hips forward just a little bit, making sure that they're level, and you're going to feel a nice deep stretch all the way down through there. This is a really advanced variation, so work yourself up to it as you go from the first one I showed you with the leg hanging off, to the second one, to the third, to the fourth, all the way up to that last variation there. Start easy and just work your way up. There's nothing to be gained by taking on a stretch that's more advanced than what you're ready for. And in fact, it can cause injury. So again, less is more. When we're holding these stretches, try to breathe for at least five slow deep breaths. That should be about 30 seconds. That would be a good minimum for this. You can do it longer, that's fine too. Make sure you do both sides even. And again, if you feel like you have to hold your breath against it, then you're too deep into it, use one of the regressions. Again, less is more, I cannot stress that enough. So, this is a great stretch you can do right at your own home, on the comfort of a couch, while you're watching TV. So there's no excuse for this not to be done. There's no excuse for anyone to be coming into the gym with tight hamstring, or excuse me, tight hip flexors, because this is something you can do all the time. If you're watching TV, you know, getting your Game of Thrones fix, or you're walking dead, or whatever floats your boat, commercial comes on, bang, hit those stretches. It'll benefit you. Um, so there's no excuse except to be lazy, and don't be lazy. It's just that simple. So get it done, and if you have any questions, get with us at Quality Strength because we love to help. Thanks, and I really hope that helps you out.